Yeah. All right, guys, let's do this. Okay guys, today is the day we are hiking a volcano. Not the one behind me, and not the one that erupted a couple days ago. That one is over there somewhere. Um, there are actually so many volcanoes around here that we have a few to choose from. Uh, and the one we are hiking is called Pacaya. I think it's gonna be fun. I've definitely never hiked a volcano or done anything like this before. Have you? No, not at all. <laughs> Are you feeling Anyways. excited? Of course. So, I will meet you guys what happened today in Makaya because I just got the... All right, guys, let's do this. Lava flow. We have reports of today at 10 a.m. north face, north, northeast face of the volcano. There was a form of a lava flow. Got everything? Got enough water? There you go. Charles, do you want to give me a hand? Yeah. Because we need some you good? water that. Okay, Darren, right, how are you feeling? <laughs> it's time. Yeah. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is about 4.30. We are at the starting point of the Pacaya hike. Our bags are up top, they're just taking them down now. And um, yeah, we got some rain. Hopefully it doesn't just pour like this all the way up uh, or else it'd be tough for me to make this video, but I'm gonna do my best for you guys. But they did say there's a bit of activity on Pacaya today, some lava flow, so if we get lucky, maybe we'll get to see some lava in person, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that is the one we are hiking today. Are you feeling all right, ready? Yeah, I feel very comfortable with my backpack. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the trek begins. So guys, it's been a while since my last hike, and I've had a lot of Mexican street food since then, so. We'll see how I do. So they're saying we got about two hours, or just under two hours of hiking to where we we're gonna camp tonight. So not too far. It's one of the shorter hikes they offer, but you know, with the bag on your back and the water and all that, it can still be a little bit grueling. Among the things we're carrying in our bags are uh, boxes of wine. So we do have a little reward when we get to the top. <laughs> I think it'll be worth it. Doing good? No? How are you feeling? I feel very comfortable with my backpack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just drenched with sweat already. So far the weather has been ideal. Cool, damp but I hear a bit of thunder in the background. Hopefully that doesn't come our way too soon. Before it just kind of felt like an average hike up a mountain, but now as we walk on the, uh, the ashes, Pretty obvious we're on a volcano. It's like being on another planet up here, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, 
Guys, I think I see our first sighting of the uh, magma. Just beautiful. It's incredible. Okay, so here's the tent. Somehow we're going to fit six people in here. The temperature up here is cooling off quick. And the wind is picking up. Oh my God, I see it. So we want to try to get closer, but I don't want like nobody start going around and you don't know how hot is that. So you have to follow me and then it, I'm gonna check, make sure if it's possible to get, we're gonna try to get as close as we can. Okay, we're gonna try to get right up close. This is crazy. <laughs> I've never seen something like that in my life. This is uh, at 10 in the morning. That there, started at 10 is, yeah, this morning. This is a new crater from today. Before today, this wasn't here. It wasn't here. Wow. <laughs> Marshmallows on a volcano. How's the marshmallow now? Good morning. It is about 5.27 a.m. And take a look at this. So last night it rained hard and somehow my shoes got soaked. So my feet are pretty frozen right now by having wet shoes to put on in the morning. It's warm here. Yeah, I need to go heat up in that lava. <laughs> uh, the lava's kind of looking like a fireplace at the end of the night. Just some burning embers. If you know the big volcano from the city of Antigua, that's the uh, triangle one behind us. From Antigua, you see it from the other side. And that one at the back, is that Fuego? Mm -hmm. So that third one there is the one that actually erupted earlier this week. And that behind me where the sun is rising, that is Guatemala City. So, it's a pretty incredible place to be. I mean, we see everything from up here, huh? Yeah, seriously. Kind of feel like you're on top of the world. You have to watch your step on this stuff. It's kind of like sand in the desert, but rockier. And uh, you can easily just slide down it, as I've been doing all morning. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Now here is the chance to warm my feet a little bit. This is just like being next to the campfire. A volcano campfire. So just so you guys know, that smoke up there, that's where it's coming from. This is going slow. Way up top. That's where the lava comes from. Sorry, is it scary? No. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Charlie, great selfie. Pretty unforgettable trip. I mean, I guess the trip's not over yet. We still have to hike back and have breakfast and all that stuff, but this definitely felt like a highlight moment. Just incredible.